Okay. You ready? So that was. Do you have to replace the signs for podcast two? <laughs> That's funny. This is part two, baby. Jump? Yeah, you are. You're the first person. To... Uh, you guys need me around more often. Pod- I'll just sit in the corner and wait for my puns. <laughs> this is Bradley Stephen Perry with podcast two, two today. <laughs> um, False advertisement. <laughs> we're gonna before we get into fan questions, I want to talk a little bit more about college. So mm-hmm. you went from literally Disney to being a USC graduate. Yeah. Did you like have a hard time fitting in there? Have people always like giving little jabs at you or anything? Oh, for sure. But you kind of <laughs> have to like you kind of just gotta. It's roll also with LA. It. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, exactly. Right. There was a lot. A lot of people there who kind of had gone through the same experience, but um, you know, eventually it was, it was, you know, like you're in a fraternity, mm-hmm. you're gonna get made fun of for it. Like it's just, it's bound to happen. So Bradley um, Stephen Perry was a frat boy. Yeah. yeah wow. Genuinely. I know, but it, you know, it just like eventually, you can't hide from it, so you just roll with it, and then people are like, <laughs> oh, whatever, you know, who cares? It's him. What's one thing from college that you didn't expect? Because you know, I've never been to college. Yeah. So, like, what would you tell me? Oh, well, I, I think I I think I was spot on with what I wanted college to be, which was more mm. of a, an experience than and it sounds terrible. But it was more like it, it was less about going and further because I've majored in film. Yeah. And I had grown up working in film. So it wasn't like I kind of went into it feeling like there was Ooh, this so- abundance of things that I was like, oh, this is so new to me. It was like I grew up doing it. Yeah. Um, so for me, it was more of like I didn't go to high school. Yeah. Uh, like in person. So it was more School having that experience. Set. Yeah. It's like, that's not the same thing. So it was mm-hmm. like, for me, the experience of being in person and talking to people my age all day. Yeah. Whereas I worked with 40 year old people, you know, so it was nice to be around. True. Did I just offend someone? <laughs> that's like just so <laughs> true. People. Yeah. I mean, that's but what. But you're it... probably so much more mature than any other guy. How old are you again? I'm 23. Wow. 23 yeah. from LA. Yeah. Five foot eleven. Yeah. The- <laughs> <laughs> wait, say that story real quick. He comes in uh, here and I'm like, wait, how tall are you? He's like, well, funny story, so yeah. I'll let you take it away. Well, it's, you know, when you're auditioning for a part, you have to <laughs> do a slate at the beginning where you say your name, your age and height, age and height, right? Yes. Like where you're located. Mm-hmm. And so I was thinking in my head for the role that I was going out for, like they're clearly going to cast some like big jock dude you know i'm like yeah it's not me you gotta be realistic it's yeah. like i'm not well, it's not me so i was thinking in my head while doing the audition like that's what they're going with i was like if i was 5 11 i'd book this role i knew that <laughs> and so i did the slate and i was like hey i'm bradley stephen perry i'm over the age of 18 and i'm 5 11 no that's not my age. I mean, my height i don't know why i said that and the casting director staring at me like <laughs> what's going on do you want to do that again and i'm like i don't i'm so sorry i don't know where that came from i totally just lied to you and then i brought to attention like that i was short and now it's like great you know like, but sorry. yeah by the way let me <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in yeah. case you couldn't tell from over there see when you were telling me that story i thought you're gonna be like they stopped me right away and was like you're not yeah, 511 you're cute like yeah. that's cute yeah. <laughs> but that's so funny good luck in life buddy <laughs> Yeah. Well, a successful actor, I guess, whatever. Yeah. Um, well, before we do fan questions, last thing is the name of the show is What They Don't Tell You. So what's one thing that they don't tell you about being a frat boy? Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things you can't probably speak of. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's This is stupid because this is what we always would joke about, but it really is about, like, meeting your your friends for life right like you meet like your buddies that's what you you don't you go into it thinking you're gonna party yeah and, you know, drink and meet girls and all that but at the end of the day it's like you spend most of your time with some of my best friends are from my fraternity wow so like that's By- <laughs> that's that's the wholesome answer there yeah well uh, mm, do we want to go pg-13 is there anything else i feel like we should keep it where it was okay we'll keep it there but i just want to clarify you yeah. said buddies and i swear that's a midwest thing my brother says really? that yeah i've never heard anyone in la call their friends buddies really yes oh that's so strange yeah i've never and that's like the biggest joke i go home and my brother's like my buddy and i are like i gotta have my buddies over tonight. oh i always say buddies wow yeah. that's so funny i'm from the the midwest of southern california i guess <laughs> yeah. that's what they call a thousand oaks off to you it's, oh. a, it's the midwest of california okay i get that maybe that's why yeah, i liked it no, too yeah 
All right, we have some fan questions. What is the funniest moment ever on Good Luck Charlie? Like on screen or on... behind the scenes? Ooh, I guess on s- screen. Like the funniest thing that I think we did? Sure, yeah. Oh, and then man. we'll have part two of, of okay. off screen. That, this is for podcast one mm-hmm. and the other one's going to be for podcast two? Okay. No, nah, this is two. The next one's three. Come right, on. Okay, my bad. No, nah, um, not actually, but like just a part two of the question. Uh, on screen. I, you know, I got to tell you, this is terrible, but I, I, I was so young. I don't remember a lot of the things we did. Okay, I'm right there with you. Yeah. I don't remember much of my childhood. I know. Because I was working. Yeah, it's it's weird because, like, seriously, we shot the first episode. I was nine years old. And then we yeah. finished. I was, like, 14. And I would I only mean, remember, so, like, maybe 14. Yeah, and, like, I'm, I obviously remember things from it. I remember doing it every single day. It was fun. But, yeah. like, the actual bits and the actual jokes. But I'll say filming in front of a – like a studio audience. It's fun, huh? That's the best best thing you do in the film industry. It is so fun. Mm-hmm. It's the it's most like consistent work too because you're there Monday through Friday. But then like Friday night you do a, a live audience show. It's so fun. There's nothing like it. And wow. so anything like any the funniest scenes that we would do in front of the audience mm-hmm. was, were always the best. You know because wow. like you'd get their energy from it too. Yeah. So you don't you don't have any off camera like BTS funniest memory that you. Can think of My right favorite now. memory, this is a genuine story. We, we were trying to get uh, uh, Mia. We were mm-hmm. trying to get her because she was just like probably two at the time. <laughs> she was just not in it, not having it. She was in a bad mood. And Eric, the dad on the show, mm-hmm. is like flying around. Like we're yes. just like behind, like waiting to film. And he's just trying to like make her happy so we yeah. could do the scene. And he's like throwing her up, throwing her down, throwing her up, throwing her down. And the big uh, boom microphone oh. was up. <laughs> he didn't see it. He threw her up and just. At least it's soft. It's one of these things. <laughs> the it's that. a huge like microphone that a base like a, a mic guy like a sound guy yeah. will hold it like well, over and so you. On on four camera sitcoms too. It's on this big like machine almost. It's even <laughs> bigger. It's like a rig too. And so <laughs> it boinked her in the head, oy, and oy. she like then it was more tears than there were before, and that oh. stalled filming. But I was like crying laughing because it was so funny that and he felt horrible he was trying to make her happy and then she starts sobbing and i saw a whole thing go down that was that's like the first thing that came to my mind yeah that is really funny yeah it was good um Ch- child abuses apparently <laughs> the go-to comedy i guess just an accident everybody yeah it wasn't on purpose yeah <laughs> do you feel that acting as a child has shaped you in a good way um, I think that working as a child, for sure, yeah. I think that... Um, Same. Yeah, I think, like, you, you're forced to grow up, you know? And you do it a lot quicker than the people around you. Um, yep. It's, it's funny because you have, like, so much free time when you're not working, right? And then you are working, you're just so busy. But then when yep. you have that free time, you kind of feel like you're doing nothing. And, like, all of my friends who just graduated, or my buddies, if you will, who just graduated <laughs> college, and like, my girlfriend, they're all working right now. And you kind of feel like you're not doing anything. You're like, oh, but I kind of earned, like, this yeah. few-month period where I'm not doing anything right yeah. now. And that's, like, that's how the film industry works. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's just a – it's such a different form of life, but I, I don't regret any of it. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. If you could pick one of your friends to go on a dream vacation with, who would you choose and where would you go? A dream vacation. Oh, man. One of my friends? Yep. I'll go with my girlfriend anywhere, but um, one of my buddies. I would go with my... my <laughs> just had to say that just to clarify. <laughs> just You're to listening. clarify. Um, I would probably my best friend, Jake, who he and I did a couple shows together. He was on Amp Farm. Yes, Jake, Jake Short. Short. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's not as short as you'd think. Taller than you, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Close to 5'11", if I had to guess. Um, he, he maybe have gotten that far. <laughs> yeah, he was the one who booked it. Uh, yeah, he and I would probably go. My, my buddy Austin, too. Austin, Jake, and I, we went to uh, on a trip. Austin North is on mm-hmm. Outer Banks right now. Um, we all went on vacation last summer, and then Austin and I kind of turned it into a You guys a go to the trip. Outer Banks? Yeah, no. <laughs> um, we, tur- we went to Indiana, which... If you live in Indiana, I'm Is it sorry. like a party town, right? I, I don't think there was anything fun about that place. But I'm from Michigan. That's it's, it's about still, the same it's thing. Right there. That tough. Um Yeah, I couldn't get out. I rented a car to leave as quickly as I could. Oh, actually. Not even kidding you, Austin and I got in the car and we're like, let's go to Chicago. This place is 
wait, why'd you choose Sad. Indiana? That's where Jake's from. Oh. Yeah, we went to go visit his family. We went to the Indy 500, which was like, okay. that's like the biggest day in Indiana, right? Yeah. Probably and then the only. that's it. Yeah. I think that Sunday, they're like, well, now what? Um, <laughs> and it's, weather's terrible. People aren't very nice. And that's coming from somebody who grew up in Southern California. <laughs> I'm like, these people are kind of mean. I, like Indianapolis? Yeah, terrible. So you wouldn't, I've never been there. You wouldn't recommend, huh? No. <laughs> No, it made me not want to go to any of the neighboring states either. I I'm a just, neighboring state. I probably won't be visiting. Ooh, yeah. It was tough. I, if you don't, I would say there's a lot more things to do in Indianapolis than where I'm from. And I can see why you moved to L.A. <laughs> That's true. I do. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. I was. I just offended <laughs> so many people who are from Indiana. But oh, for sure. Yeah. But low key, I mean, everyone probably wants to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I, are you kidding? I, I seriously, it just was like. It was funniest thing is Austin and I decided to go to Chicago. We were yeah. like, well, let's just go to Chicago for the weekend, right? Right after this Indiana trip. Because it was Jake's birthday, so we went like with him yeah. to Indiana. And then it was like, we got in the car and we were driving out in the rental car and we're like, I drive faster, dude. Like, I can't, I don't even like be, the, the road to Chicago, I've never seen so many dead deer on the side of the street. It, like, just roadkill. It's just mass murder everywhere. <laughs> big Spot deer again. too it's like every once in a while you see like a raccoon or something hit on yeah. the streets here yeah but there it was it was like every deer. off ramp they're like here's the next deer it was disgusting it was really sad so you'd like chicago though chicago was cool yeah chicago was, and then like we went a... to nashville right after that nashville was cool. oh, i love nashville you seem like a nashville guy i know Country music, it's really my, my go-to. Wait, wait, wait. Where would you go on your dream vacation? So you would never go to a Midwestern state. Let's just throw well, those out. We get some scissors and remove those states. <laughs> Cut it up, dude. It's good. That's get rid so of funny. Oh, dream. I'm trying to go to Italy. I've never been to Italy. The only ever pl place I've been like overseas is uh, Scotland. And that was it. I went and worked there. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that was it. And I, I just need to, I need to go to Europe. I haven't been. Yeah, so. um, Italy is just such a vibe i feel like mm. i need to go to i think that's how it's usually described yeah a vibe yeah okay Renaissance I'm, glad we're, I'm glad we're on the same vibe um <laughs> as italy <laughs> yes do you ever get tired of being recognized and connected to disney and gabe um i mean obviously like when you do other things you're like hey i, I also did that mm -hmm. you know but you kind of have to realize you the one show you did was so big that iconic that's why you're getting recognized and so it's like you can't get mad at it i always kind of find it strange when people are like oh i wish i wouldn't have ever done that show it's like well the only reason you're talking to people right now is because you did that show yeah. so it's like don't bite the hand that feeds you mm -hmm. um you know like i said when you do another job and you're like i put a lot of hard work into that show or movie like it'd be nice to get some recognition but at the same time it's like even if that person watched it they probably still were watching it going oh that was that guy from yeah. this you know so it's like kind of it all falls back to the first thing I I did, and I'm yeah. fine with that. You know? So you're you're like you just know you're iconic. That that was the moral of what I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you got that. I did. Thank you for digging that out of that. <laughs> Last question is: Have you ever crushed on anyone while working on set, or had like a secret relationship? Oh, um, my first girlfriend and I, uh, she was on the show that filmed right next door to us, which was funny because it was kind of like high school. You know? Whoa. Because we were like right next to each other. I mean, it was a weird Your version of high school. Little classrooms, <laughs> yeah. set rooms. I'm like, yeah, it's definitely not the same. It's like dressing rooms. <laughs> yeah, because like I feel like people in high school are like, oh, meet on the football field. We're like, meet at the back lot security post in Warner Brothers. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's not really the same, but kind of iconic. Yeah, like I, I know. Said. So it it was funny, but it, that was nice because we like we're right next door to each other. So that was my first girlfriend at, at 15. Wow. Yeah. So like that was kind of definitely obviously a crush and that turned into a relationship but mm -hmm. then working on set you guys was it over a breakup and you guys were still like next to each other and like mm. that was kind of awkward <laughs> huh yeah i don't i don't think so i don't i think we when we broke up i think our shows had already ended Oh. Because I don't think I had to deal with that, actually. <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah, that's. I wanted to ask because I would be I'm intrigued with how that ended. Yeah, I don't think I would do that. I don't think I would want to date somebody who I'm, like, actively working with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. True. That would be weird. Yeah. I, I know your boyfriend works out here because it smells like him. <laughs> so 
That's got to be awkward. He's for near. You. He's yeah, near. I can smell him in the air. <laughs> Wow. Well, that was so fun. <laughs> that was really a great time. I hope that you have fun with your buddies in Italy. Yeah. And, and I, I feel like I learned so much about college. So hey, basically what a went, success. That was college, really, as you go, yep, that was it. Yeah. And you move on. Success. Yeah. Success. <laughs> well, thank you again for joining us. Thank you for having Where me. Where can they find you to keep up with you on social media? I really only have Instagram. Really? That's it, yeah. Got to get a TikTok. I don't know about that. Got to get a TikTok. You, I, I know you secretly watch them. Every, I've, I've never never had everyone it. Everyone says that. I promise you. Look at my phone. Everyone says that. Red flag. You don't have TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> never had it. But um, Bradley, Stephen Perry, you guys can find him on Instagram. And make sure you guys rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and add us to your Spotify playlist. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday with a new podcast, probably a recap from Coachella. So see you then. Peace. Hi. My name is Bradley, Stephen Perry. For legal reasons, I would like to apologize for my comments that were made during this episode about the great state of Indiana. There are many wonderful people who live there and <laughs> countless enjoyable experiences to be had. My comments do not reflect that of Jordan Jones or Podcast One. We're all in this together. Stay golden, Indiana.